It looks like Parker is finally awake. He did wake up around 4 a.m. and I gave him eight ounces. So he has not been asleep in the sleep sack the whole night long. He is four months old, so I wouldn't do that overnight, just for safety reasons. Let's go ahead and undo the sleep sack and let him stretch out. Oh, that's much better, isn't it now? So if you've been following me for a while now, you notice that this is a new baby Parker, still the Pickle Sculpt by Nikki Johnston. This one is also made by a different artist. Although I loved the pickle I previously had, a part of me really wanted a blonde version. So that one sold about a month and a half ago, and I recently found this one. This is actually my fifth version of the Pickle Sculpt. Honestly, I cannot figure out why I keep buying and selling this kit, but maybe someday one of them will actually stick. Let's go ahead and prepare Parker's morning bottle. Since he already had eight ounces at four in the morning, I'm only going to give him five ounces now. And after his bottle, we will also be feeding him some baby cereal. For his bottle, I will use fresh filtered water, along with the Infamil Neuro Pro formula. He'll get two and a half scoops for five ounces of water. Give it a good shake. And then of course, we're gonna go ahead and put this bottle into the bottle warmer. And then we'll go ahead and get a bib along with a burp cloth. Parker is calm, the bottle is in the warmer, so I'm going to go ahead and pick out his outfit for this morning. He actually has two very cute swim tops, so we will definitely have to take him to the pool at some point. Let's see, I don't have very many clothing pieces for him. Some t-shirts, onesies, little boy rompers, not much. It's a warm day, so I think this sleeveless romper will do. bottle is almost done and then we will go ahead and get this big boy fed. I would love to know in comments if you have a pickle kit or had one. I'm not sure why I have such mixed feelings about this kit. It's a darling kit, don't get me wrong. I love the size. I just seem to be having the hardest time bonding with one, but at the end of the day, I still really want one in my collection. Maybe this one will be the last one, but who knows. That's a hungry little boy. I'm gonna save this last little bit for his cereal. 
burp him real good. What do you see, huh? What do you see? Do you see the fox? Yeah? Yeah? Such a sweet little boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. What's over there, huh? Do you see the lamp? Mwah. Such a sweetheart. Mwah. Yeah. Is that fun? All right, let's go get you dressed now. Just look at the fat rolls on this baby and those giant feet. This sweet outfit came with him from the artist. I really do need to get out and buy some more cute summer pieces for him. I did buy size five diapers because the fours were a little small. Right now he has on a four nighttime diaper. So let's try this one on and see if it's any better. Well, I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, there we go. There's that gap. But these are really large on him. So since the gap is still there, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a size four daytime diaper on him. I don't really like the big baggier diapers. I'd also love to read about in comments what you do when you don't bond with a new doll. Do you decide to sell it or do you put it away for a while and see how you feel without it around? Most of the time I do sell mine when I don't have an instant bond. Just listen to him. He's enjoying this activity gem. I'm going to take this opportunity to get his baby cereal prepared and then we will feed him. I just love these silicone bowls from Timu. We'll use this one and get a spoon. He gets the plain whole wheat baby cereal, which I will mix with the rest of his formula and most likely a bit more water. I like to make sure the consistency is watery enough for him. Since he's so young, I don't want it to be thick. Yes, this needs some water. We'll just add a little bit at a time. Stir it up. Still a little too thick. A bit more water. That seems to be better. See, I like this consistency. I think he's gonna finish this entire bowl of cereal, which is great. He just started taking cereal about a month ago. I usually start the babies around three months with cereal. After this, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put Parker into the front pack, and we're gonna go outside and check on the pool. 
It was cloudy last week when the girls and I went for a swim and my husband and I have been working to get it clear and I think we're almost there. So we're gonna go take a look. Let's get him clean now that he's done eating. Oh, I know. You don't like that. Just hang on. So he settled down. I got him into the front carrier, which he loves. He loves to be close to mommy. He fell asleep within minutes of me putting him in here. We're gonna go downstairs and then outside and check on the pool. Fingers crossed that it's finally blue. It's been so cloudy for the past couple of weeks from all the rain we've been getting here. Well, it looks like our hard work has paid off. Just look at that pool. You can see the bottom, it's great. I know some little girls who are gonna be so happy to hear about this. What do you guys say? Should I have another pool day with the dolls? Let me know in comments. It's a nice day today, but it is overcast. So there won't be any swimming today. I only enjoy getting in the pool when it's good and hot and the sun is out. So tell me your thoughts. Does he look realistic in this carrier? Do you think he could be mistaken for a real baby if I brought him out in public like this or went for a walk? But I think for now we're just going to relax in the backyard and enjoy the sight of the crystal clear blue pool. Thanks for watching. Bye.